Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix and today I'm telling you guys seven ways how to break Brahala. You've never seen this kind of stuff before. So subscribe if you want more videos just like this and check out Kozlix.com if you want some personal coaching from me. Okay, let's get right into this. So the first thing I want to show you is you can actually get the OG weapons in Brahala. Go to training. And what I mean by OG, I really mean like you've never seen this before. There's a chance you have, but you've probably never seen this before. Um, pick a character. Um, it can be really any character. Um, uh, so what you're going to want to do is press on the settings. Switch the character you want to the weapon. Let's go with Axe, for instance. And then I'm going to do an Axe signature. There's a lot of ways of doing this, but we'll do a sig. We pause it. I'm actually going to turn down the sounds. are kind of loud. Okay, so we're going to pause mid-signature. You can already see it's kind of breaking the game a bit. Or the sig is weird. Um... And what you're going to want to do is switch the legend to someone without axe. So we're going to go from Ulgrim to Thor. Now we're going to go back. We're backstepping. And look at this. You see that axe skin? So the attacks, there's no sounds. <laughs> there's just no sounds on this. So broken. And check out these signatures. There's no signatures. Why aren't there signatures? Did they remove this? There's no sigs anymore. What? They used to be tarot sigs. Take a look at this. We're going to go with hammer. So we're going to do a hammer sig. Now we're going to switch to Thea. Go back. And now look at that hammer. And there's no sigs. They disabled the sigs. And look at this. There's no sound effects. They changed this since the last time. I, I, I'm pressing the signature. There's no signature button. It's so scuffed. You can try this out yourself. Like here's Lance. So we do a side sig. Switch the thatch. Let's go, you know, frame step it backwards. And now I got the OG Lance. And there's no Lance Sigs. When did they get rid of it? And there's no Lance sound effects either. Like, oh, it switches between two weapon skins. Here's the on hit. Oh my god. And it is, you know, Lance, it's normal. It's all the same. Um, but yeah, totally weird. I want, let's try uh, Let's try sword. You can probably switch uh, mid light attack as well. There we go. No, I didn't mean that. Okay, we're going to do boots then. Switch. Taros. There we go. That's the OG boot skin. No sound effects. No signatures. Super scuffed. But uh, it works. That's the first way how to break Brahala. <laughs> yeah, what a weird sound effect. So here's another way. This is also in training. Let's say I die in training. You see my sidekick? He's bringing me back. You go to the middle of the map. And then what you're going to want to do... Actually, we can't do it with, uh, with myself. We're gonna switch to the bot control mode. We're gonna go to the, we're gonna die. Then our sidekick is gonna bring us. See how we're in the middle of the map? And then what we're going to do is position reset on. So basically we're gonna teleport in the middle of the map. Um, so we can hit resume, you know, go normal. Now watch this, I'm in the map. I'm gonna teleport back. There we go. And then we can like, you know, undo position reset. And look at this, we're in the map, guys. I can't really attack. I can jump in there and now I'm out. Um, but that's how you get into any map in training. This is just small brawl. You can do this again, any single map. You can get anywhere you want. The third way, this is also in training. Take a look at this. We want to get stacked. Then we want to make sure both myself and uh, the bot are the same character. So there we go. And we're trying to get exactly on top. Exactly. A little bit hard. Try and get this. There we go. And now you switch. See, it's bot control mode. Put it to mimic. And see how you're on top of each other. Looks like only one character. Now take a look at this. We're going to give a scythe to both of us. And then this can get really scuffed. Let's try a side sig. You can hear it doubling. <laughs> you can hear the sound effect doubles <laughs> and then yeah you slam into each other um there are some like weird interactions let me try on petra Come on, there we go mimic give them both gauntlets and let's set the damage to like i don't know can't really set on both watch this okay that was weird <laughs> There's one where like sometimes it goes like absolutely flying. I guess maybe you set the damage to be like way later and it just gets like really scuffed. Um, you can do it earlier too. You know, let's set them both to zero. Um, uh, here, check this out. Let's jump off. 
gonna fully reset this. It just gets really weird. That's as close as I'm gonna get. Then both on zero. Let's go mimic. <laughs> weird. There, there's definitely things you can do, but okay, maybe that's not so much breaking Brahala. I saw a video on like this. Take a look at this, okay? This is an old video I posted. This was four ways to break Brahala. Today, we got an updated version. So that's why I was able to remake the video. But look at this. So they're stacked on top of each other. Just like I said, the health is really late. And it's just like really scuffed. It's really weird. <laughs> just go flying. Uh, that's why, it, yeah, it's just super weird. Here, they're on top of each other. Yeah. So... Here's the fourth, and this is also a fifth way in a way. Um, what you're going to want to do is pick Koji or Petra. Um, I'm just going to pick Petra because I know how to do this with her. Uh, where is she? There she is. Um, uh, shout out to Flipside for showing me this in one of his recent videos on Side Flip. But you just give yourself, you know, give yourself gauntlets, and then you just downsig. And then you're just in the map. <laughs> it's as easy as that. It's super weird. Take a look at this. You go to the like quarter of it you just down sig and then it just puts you right in the map you can do that again it's not hard i i went a little too you know recovery it out just gotta be right on that corner and look i'm in the map it's great i don't know why this is in the game it's super scuffed i'm trying to dash jump it doesn't let me look at this movement <laughs> that's so weird and take a look at this. You can actually get into the map on another map. So this one doesn't require a specific legend. You just have to go to Lost Labyrinth, the big one. Uh, this island starts to move. So we're just going to wait until it does. Um, we're in training, so there's not an actual like timer. But it should move. Just got to wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. You jump, and then look at that. I'm in the map. It's like jump and just walk into it. It like compresses you on the side of the map. And then you just get into this island. Pick things up. Throw them. They get trapped in the thing for some reason. Here. I can give myself a boomerang. Yeah, how does this work? <laughs> it just drops. Give myself. It drops. Okay, let me switch to Taros. Go down here so we can like see the map a bit better. Well. This is just, it just looks so dumb. It like drops and then falls. Um, so that's the fourth way. So here's a fifth way to break Brawlhalla. This works in the live game as well. You can actually do instant ground pounds, um, especially on blasters. A lot of people know about this, a lot of people don't, but I'm going to show you how to do it really easily and on any map. There's at least two techniques. I'm going to show you. Uh, the two easiest ones. There's one secret one that's like kind of hard to input, but take a look at this. So on blasters, if you actually land right on the ground, you see that? I did it the first time. There we go. R you ground pound right next to the ground. It's like a one frame input. Um, uh, it's an instant ground pound. So you, you don't have startup frames. So you can see what it looks like. There we go. Um, you can you can very easily tell the difference. So that's normal, normal. It's like a, a tough input to do. There we go. And you can see there's there's just no startup frames. You can see you go straight from like normal falling to just ground pound in one frame. It's an instant ground pound. So you can do it just falling like I just said. But you can also, if you do a back dash forward dash, there we go. And uh, I think Lord White Wolf made this pretty popular in some of his uh, stuff. So shout out to him. But uh, yeah, and you can do any ground pound in the game with this. So like a bow ground pound or whatever. You can like, whoopsie. You don't need, <laughs> this is very useless, the bow ground pound. But uh, there are certain ground pounds where it is like more useful. Um, there we go. <laughs> it's just kind of useless. Same with that. Um, uh, you can't really do an instant ground pound on any other weapon. It's just the aerial version that you can do. Maybe on boots. I've never tried this on boots. <laughs> that looks so dumb. You're just kicking the floor, I guess. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, that, that's how you do the aerial ground pounds and the instant ground pounds. Okay, so here's the sixth way to break Brawlhalla. So you can pick any character you want. Go to any map with a soft platform. Shout out, um, I believe Burb IRL was the first person to find this. So he called it a Burb Dash. But I don't know the official name other than that. And take a look at this. So if you backdash... 
and then you can do like a ground pound. You can do aerial moves without jumping. It's a really like weird input. I haven't done this in a while. There we go. You see that? I just did a ground pound without jumping. And you can like do grounded aerials without jumping on these soft platforms. There we go. And you can do the instant ground pound too. It's just a really weird input. It's such a tough input. It's basically the game thinks you're on the ground, you're in the air, and then you're not. Yeah, there we go. So you can do this with down air, but it's a really... There we go. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Back dash, and I'm doing an aerial. It's not useful in the slightest, and it's kind of a tough input. Oh, there we go. Look at that, sir. Um, uh, let me turn my controller on just to show you. Okay. Now... Okay, there. okay, now you guys see the input I'm doing. So it's like a back dash, and then see I'm holding up instantly to do the down air. And yeah, you, you're not even jumping. It's just a really like tough input. Let's try it again. There we go, that's a sir. And you can see the input is just really weird. But look at this, I it thinks I'm in the air at this point, and I'm just staring. Because I'm at a state that's in between the soft platform and the air. And then it recognizes I'm still on the soft platform. but So I don't, like, go through it. And then, yeah. Just, like, really weird. Yeah. That is crazy. And that's number six. I think it's number six. Yeah, we got one more. Take a look at this. We're going to go back to the character select. Um, you can do this on any character. But if you do this on uh, on Yumiko, it's easiest. So if you spam dash, you can see you could only, you know, dash so many times in a row. As you can see, like, I can't spam it too much. But if you, let's say you get hammer, you down sig, and then look at that. I can spam dash. And it's like, it's really fast. This is turbo dashing. <laughs> Look at this, if I'm spamming normal dash, look how slow this is. Look at this. Normal dash, normal dash, but then here's turbo dashing. <laughs> Yumiko's broken. And you can do this with any move in the game. Yeah, you see that? I double dash out of down light. It's like, it's a tough input though. I did it once. You can do this on the down sig. Yeah, there we go. You see the down sig? You can do this on down light, I think. Wait, if I down light and then... Um, and yeah, you can do it on every move in the game, but it's just really hard. So guys, that's seven ways how to break Brawlhalla. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.